Welcome to the show. My name is Brock Page, and I do random sports picks for fun. Let's get into it. Phillies at the Marlins tonight with a total at nine and a half runs. Marlins are favored at $1.34, and at the moment, 79% of the actions on Miami to get the job done. Tonight's probable is Vinny Velasquez for the Phillies, Adam Conley for the Marlins. And speaking of Miami, they own the season series four games of two in head-to-head -head matchups with the Phillies. The Marlins have also been good in the friendly confines, going 14-11 and 11 in their games as the official home favorite. They're facing a Phillies team who's winning just 27% of their games as the official road underdog. They're also winning just 30% of their games when Vinny Velasquez makes the start. In addition to all that, two out of both teams' last three games went under the posted total. All that said, I think the Miami Marlins will win this one outright for some money line cash. When it comes to the total, I think this one stays under the 9.5 runs. And when it comes to the run line, I think the Marlins can hold off the fills and win this one by two. I'm predicting a final score of 5-3 to Marlins. All right, we're going to slide in our next game, Seattle at Houston, with a total at an even nine runs. Currently, Houston's laying 185 on the money line, and at the moment, 74% of the action's on Houston to get the job done. Probables in this one, Gavillo for Seattle, Peacock for Houston. And speaking of the Astros, they're winning a staggering 78% of their games when Brad Peacock makes the start. They're also winning 68% of their games as the favorite. They're facing a Seattle team who's won just four of the 11 games versus Houston this season. The Mariners have also won just 13 of 33 games as the official road underdog. On a lighter note, we've seen a good amount of offense in these Seattle games as two out of the last three games the Mariners have played have gone over the posted total. All that said, I think this one will go over the nine runs. And when it comes to selecting a money line winner, I think the Astros are going to cool off this red hot Mariners team with a solid home win. And finally, when it comes to the run line cash, I think Houston wins by two. I'm predicting a final score of seven to four Astros. Next and final game for the show, San Diego at Colorado with the total at an even 11 runs. Currently, the Rockies are the $1.44 favorites in this one, and at the moment, 81% of the actions on the Rockies to get it done. Tonight's probable is Lambert for the Padres, Sensatella for the Rockies, and speaking of the Rockies, they're winning 67% of their games when Antonio Sensatella makes the start. They're also 6-4 in head-to-head -head matchups with the Padres. They're facing a San Diego squad who wins just 35% of their games on the road. The Padres have also won just 13 of 35 games versus teams over 500. In addition to all that, both teams are 4-0 for the overs in their last four games respectively. All that said, I think this one gets over the 11 despite the fairly decent matchup on the bump. And when it comes to selecting a winner, I think the Rockies pull this one out at home for some money line cash. I also think Colorado can win this one by at least two for some run line cash as well. I'm thinking a final score of like seven to five Rockies. All right, folks, that is going to do it for me. But before I get out of here, I have to remind you that I am not a sports betting expert, nor do I implore you to take any of my picks. A wise man once said, good ain't free and free ain't good. And if for some reason you decide to use the free information on this program, you're utilizing it at your own discretion. Most importantly, if you're betting any of these games, do it safe, do it responsibly, and most important, have fun. For Brock Page Productions, I'm Brock Page, and have yourself a positive day.